Okay, this video is going to be about this porcupine in the tree. Now, I saw him as I drove by, and I turned around. He was walking up the tree. There he is. Okay, I'll stop here. And we can look at his underbelly. He's eating, but we can't see what he's eating. Let's go a little closer. That's so cool, he's eating the buds off of the tree. He is adorable. I bet you never thought of a porcupine as being adorable, did you? I lost him. Move over just a little bit. that little tiny branch. You would not think that that little tiny branch could hold them, would you? Okay, let's see what we can do here now. Uh-oh, sorry. Gotta find him again. That's his tail supporting his weight. Not even holding on to the main tree, you know. See why I wanted this six hundred dollar camera? Well, four hundred before taxes and the warranty.
See now he's cut the branch off. You see that? Those are empty. He's cut them off and now he's going to eat what's on the front. I've never watched a porcupine eat before. This is so cool. This is like being out here with my binoculars, but I can completely share it. But nobody's got a 70x pair of binoculars. I guess that would be one of those. I don't remember the name. So you're going to cut that branch off now. My fingers are getting tired of supporting this here. I'm going to see if I can get another view of them from the other side. Okay, I'll put it down on my steering wheel. Okay, sorry about this. Don't get sick. You see his quills. The quills lay flat. Porcupines are protected species in Canada because if you're ever lost in the wild they are a, a, a good food source because they are slow moving and you could catch them. And if you can, they can be flipped over and um, then they're not protected on their belly. There's no quills on their belly. So they roll up in a ball. I mean, I hate to tell you about how to kill a porcupine, but if you're ever lost in the woods and have to eat and you're starving or whatever, you know, People do get lost in the woods in Canada. And you can, I guess you would bludgeon the poor fellow and then you would use them for food. See, this is why there's such a mess underneath. Oh, I'm almost done. 45 seconds left. This is why there's such a mess underneath the, the hemlock trees. They cut off the branches and eat them and then drop them. They don't eat everything on them. Okay, well, it's Nancy today. We're in Ontario. Oops, I gotta zoom out before I say hello say goodbye. Goodbye.